In a world where nice guys often finish last, is there a way to be both ethical and successful? Welcome to Ethical Machiavelli, where we merge morality with strategy. This is your Captain Al speaking. Today's topic, Ethical Machiavellian Advice for Nice Guys. Learn how to navigate this with integrity and shrewdness. Understanding Machiavellianism. Machiavellianism, derived from Niccolò Machiavelli's writings, is often linked with manipulation. Yet, when applied ethically, it becomes a tool for strategic thinking and assertiveness. This segment will explore how Machiavellian principles can be used without compromising your morals. The Plight of the Nice Guy Why do nice guys often find themselves at a disadvantage? Dr. Robert Glover's No More Mr. Nice Guy delves deep into this. He identifies the nice guy syndrome, where men are driven by a need to gain approval. This manifests in constantly pleasing others, hiding flaws and avoiding conflict, often leading to unfulfillment and unsuccessful relationships. Glover proposes a transformative approach to break free from this pattern. Self-acceptance, embrace your flaws and vulnerabilities. This step is crucial for building genuine self-confidence rather than seeking external validation. Expressing needs openly. Communicate your needs and desires assertively and honestly. This involves setting healthy boundaries and learning to say no when necessary. Moving away from passive or manipulative communication. Prioritizing personal development. Engage in activities that enhance personal skills and confidence, like hobbies or exercise. This self-focused growth fosters attractiveness and influence, stemming from authenticity rather than a desire to please. Integrating these principles, nice guys can reshape their approach to life. Combining Glover's psychological insights with ethical Machiavellian strategies for a more effective personal and professional existence. Now, linking this to Carl Jung's concepts of persona and shadow, we find another layer of understanding. Jung believed everyone has a persona, the mask presented to the world, and a shadow, the repressed, hidden aspects of our personality. For many nice guys, the shadow harbors qualities like assertiveness, ambition, and competitiveness, traits they might shy away from. Jung emphasized the importance of acknowledging and integrating the shadow for psychological wholeness. This doesn't mean succumbing to negative impulses, but recognizing and balancing these traits. For a nice guy, this could mean learning to assertively negotiate for their interests and taking stands on important issues in line with ethical Machiavellian advice. Embracing these shadow aspects enables nice guys to become more well-rounded individuals, capable of strategic action while staying true to their ethical values, ethical Machiavellian strategies, and real-life applications. For instance, adopting Sun Tzu's principle of knowing when to engage can be crucial in negotiations. Actively listening and then strategically asserting your ideas can enhance your influence. Implementing Dr. Glover's advice, like setting clear boundaries at work or politely declining extra tasks when overwhelmed, demonstrates respect for oneself and earns respect from others. From Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, showing genuine interest in colleagues can lead to more collaborative opportunities. Additionally, Machiavelli's advice on being both loved and feared within an ethical framework means being affable in interactions while firmly standing your ground on important matters. More practical tips include practicing assertive communication, such as using I statements to express needs without offending others, and learning the art of strategic silence, which can be as powerful as speaking up. These strategies help transform a nice guy into a respected and effective individual, both personally and professionally. Conclusion. In conclusion, being a nice guy doesn't mean being passive or overlooked. By adopting ethical Machiavellian strategies, you can assert yourself effectively and navigate life with confidence and integrity. Enhance your interactions, not change your core values. Join us next time on Ethical Machiavelli for more insights and strategies for living strategically with ethics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more empowering content. Thank you for watching. Explore our channel for more strategies and life-changing advice. Start your journey to becoming an ethical Machiavellian today. See you in our next video.